so hello. Um, so yeah, quick disclaimer. Nobody really knows when the rapture is going to happen. We can only kind of, you know, uh, make educated guesses. So this video is just about my um, educated guess about when the rapture would occur. Um, and so that's why I'm going with the year 2033. Uh, surprisingly, um, I have a very simple reason for it. It's not like I need a lot of evidence. Uh, I'm just using the Bible. Um, and I'm not doing any crazy like mental gymnastics to arrive at the year 2033. It's actually a very simple reason. And uh, surprisingly, um, there aren't a lot of people mentioning this date. Like I looked it up, but most like there's a lot of other weird ideas about when the rapture would happen, you know, in the year and the prediction. And they involve some deep, super, you know, studying and mental gymnastics to arrive at that date. Um, I haven't really seen very many people mention 2033, uh, which is very surprising because it's a very simple date to arrive at. And it really, why 2033? Because it's 2,000 years after Jesus Christ died. And that's really the simplest reason. And, um, you know, because there's this idea that, you know, God created the world, you know, since the God created the world in six days, uh, each day represents a thousand years. Um, and that, you know, there, there, there are some people that, some scholars that, that believe this idea. So each day represents a thousand years, so humanity is going to exist for 6,000 years. This is why a lot of people thought the rapture was going to happen in 1999. Um, it didn't happen in 1999, obviously. But they thought, you know, that's the end of the millennium. That's going to be 6,000 years. So they, that's why they went with 1999. Um, that's because they were doing 2,000 years after the birth of Christ. Or, you know, or almost 2,000 years after the birth of Christ. So, um, you know, it could be that that period of time when Jesus Christ was alive, those 33 years, that, that was like a separate time frame and, you know, time halted. So instead of doing 2,000 years after Jesus was born, do 2,000 years after Jesus died. And I think that makes more sense. Then we arrive at 2033. Also, um, my other, uh, you know, piece of evidence from the Bible um, is, you know, the whole idea of uh, church history. So in Revelation chapter 2 and 3, you can see the seven church ages. And those seven church ages make up, uh, you know, the, the current 2,000 years of church history. So if you look at Revelation chapter 2, you have the four churches mentioned, the first the first four. Uh, so, you know, Ephesus, Smyrna, uh, Pergamos, and uh, Thyatira. So you have the, four, the first four. And then uh, you got Sardis, uh, Philadelphia, and Laodicea in Revelation chapter 3. So you have four churches mentioned in Revelation chapter 2, and then the next three mentioned in chapter 3. Now, those first four churches, they make up a thousand years of church history. So, and then like Revelation chapter 3 mentions the three churches, and those make up like this next thousand years of church history. So I, I'm really starting to see a lot of parallels here. So I, I don't think this is like... Um, you know, it's completely random to come up with the year 2033. Uh, so it's a, but it's very simple. I'm not doing any like crazy, you know, in-depth study to arrive at this date. So if, if it was going to happen, um, I would go with the year 2033. And it does sound like it's very soon. It's only like in 10 years. And a few years ago, I would I would have still been maybe a little skeptical. But this year, we're having a lot of really crazy advances in artificial intelligence. Uh, I think this is the year that's going to really kick kick all this stuff off. And um, so who knows what the world's going to look like in 10 years. Maybe it will be ready for, you know, God, you know, Jesus Christ to, to come back, um, you know, 10 years from now. Who knows? Right now, it doesn't really seem like that because it's like, you know, um, the world isn't that crazy. I mean, it's crazy, but it's not like not crazy. But it's not like we're going through like tribulation and perilous times or anything like that or, you um, you know, there's the mark of the beast or the Antichrist. We're not really seeing this stuff yet, you know, but who knows? It can happen. You know, everything was calm and then all of a sudden COVID happened, right? Like it just sprung up out of nowhere and that changed how people live. So we could have some other thing like that happen in the near future. So that's why I'm going with the year 2033. That's just my best educated guess about, you know, uh, a potential rapture date. Um, yeah, so that that's it. So see you next time.